Michael Mayer may be the best tight end in the country. The only other argument you can make is Dalton Kincaid, who I already made a video about last week. So if you want to check that out, go ahead. So now in order to make the argument for Michael Mayer, I got to pull up the film against Clemson. And while I do that, make sure to like and subscribe to this video. If you enjoy the content, it helps me out so much. And now let's get into the film room. First play that I want to show you is going to show off the receiving ability by Michael Mayer, the tight end right here. He was the second best in the country last year among tight ends in receiving grade behind only Dalton Kincaid, who I also like a lot. You can see right here, he's running this little route. He's not flipping his hips in any one direction because he wants to keep this defender disciplined. He wants to have that threat still at this point in his route that he could be going down the field right up the seam. He is a deep threat receiving option right until he plants that right foot right there that outside foot which is good discipline that's what you want to do that's good route running ability and intelligence by him and then you plant go to the outside you're wide open right here because you also had this man running that route good route concept and you see he catches this ball right at the yard to gain he gets contact right there does a really nice job of just shrugging off of him pushing him away and securing the first down little yards after catch right there by Michael Mayer making sure that he gets the first down looks like he probably had it anyway once he caught that ball but then just bouncing off the man and running for three or four more yards that's what you want to see out of your tight end look at the shimmy ability of Michael Mayer right here on this route he's going up one-on-one -on -one against this defender you can see there's a little shimmy right there another shimmy gets his hands on him now watch what he does swipes those hands away and then plants that outside foot again. Good route running, good feet by him, as well as good handwork, and creates like two or three yards of separation. Quarterback is looking right at his best player on the field at the first down marker, and he just, he look, looks away. What are you doing? Throw it to Michael Mayer. He made such good separation on this play. I mean, this is like, I remember watching Antonio Gates as a Chargers fan when I was younger and being like, how did he get all of that separation? I mean, look at this right there and then boom gets all of that separation that's what it reminds me of i'm not saying he's like antonio gates i'm just saying this specific play is what that reminds me of this is a really interesting play michael mayer in motion going to the bottom of the screen just going to be a little wheel route and you can see this ball is designed either to be a run option or just a straight up pass he goes to this running back in the flat right here michael mayer in that wheel route he turns his head not to look for the ball but to look for when the quarterback throws the ball to the running back so that he knows he turns his head right here. Okay, now I can block my man because if I get contact with this defender downfield and block him, it's not going to be pass interference anymore because the quarterback has thrown the ball already. Boom! Gets right in his face, starts blocking him all the way down the field. This shows high football IQ and it shows he has willingness as a blocker and he's going to do what it takes to help your team win. Now this pass is not very well executed by the quarterback. You can see Michael Mayer in motion just before that ball is snapped. He goes up the field right here. This ball needs to be out so quick, needs to be out faster than this. You can see he even kind of stops his feet a little bit rather than keeping uh, that motion going towards the middle of the field right here because he still wants to distance himself from these defenders. I mean, he's going to be running right into these guys, catches this ball, and now he's got to get up that momentum again because he had to stop because that throw was not fast enough. You can see he stops right there, goes up the field, does a good job of making guys miss and trying to get as much yardage as he can on that play. But uh, this just shows that Nord Notre Dame had trust in him to get plays going, you know, make men miss, force the ball to your best player on the field. But we know Michael Mayer, not specifically for his receiving ability, but also his blocking ability. Now let's look at the top of the line of scrimmage right here. Michael Mayer is lined up. He's just gonna finish this man Put him into the dirt on that little double team with the other tight end. Go up to the second level. Block the linebacker. Beautiful blocks on this play. Obviously, that man ends up getting his hands on the running back, but makes a miss because he's just diving at ankles. At the top of the line right here is Michael Mayer. This one is really interesting. Watch his footwork on this route. You can see this linebacker is all up in his space. And so he plants with that outside foot, which is good. But then he does that little half step in order not to trip on the linebacker. And then he also has good handwork here too, swiping those arms away, creating all that separation again, getting that defender off balance. And now he's just going out to this running back because he's so far off balance, doesn't have any sort of 
uh, way to defend Michael Mayer right here. So he's passing him off to this zone defender who has too much depth because of this route concept. So it leaves Michael Mayer wide open because it was a good route run by him, good play design, and he doesn't throw it to him. Throw to your best player on the field. I can't, I, come on, dude. Okay, I was fully expecting to just compliment Michael Mayer's ability as a blocker, but his route running is so good, man. Check this out, just one-on-one -on -one with this defender. Nice little shimminess right there, quicker than fast. Check out the handwork, swiping away. And he has no wasted steps in all of these routes. It is just a thing of beauty. This guy could have been a wide receiver if he was just faster and slimmer. Here's another blocking play. We got Michael Mayer right here. He's gonna just go in motion. Crack back block on this edge defender, this one right here. And you can see he pushes him off balance so much, he just kind of charges his shoulder into him that he not only gets that edge defender, but the linebacker behind him. He gets a twofer on this play. And so he just completely sets that edge for this running back. Look at the tiny hole that he created. I mean, this man should be blocked by someone else, but it's just a really good job by Michael Mayer getting a two for one on this block because he did so well against the edge defender. This is that same kind of blocking play for Michael Mayer right here. Crack back block to this side. This time, this edge defender is much bigger than him. So how is he going to handle it? Sets his base right here and then lean that shoulder right into him. Crack back block. You can see he's got his knees bent. He's leaning all the way into him with that straight back. This is exactly what you want to see form-wise out of your tight end getting a crackback block on a guy who's much well not much bigger than him but who is bigger than him michael mayer has such good feet in his route running but also his blocking you can see his ability to work through the traffic right here his assignment is to get this block a little sealed off on the defensive lineman work his way up to the linebacker watch how he does it gets his hand on that guy just to make sure that he doesn't come out here with that outside arm kind of messing up the running back and then goes right up the field working through traffic really well, and he even pushes that man down the field even more so to give his running back more space. This is exactly what you want to see out of your tight end. And he also has that really great receiving ability. Okay, I like this play design a lot. Whoever drafts Michael Mayer better be doing this. You can see play action pass, and then Michael Mayer doesn't even really try to block this guy, just kind of gets in his way, shimmies away from him, and they both go to the running back. And now this is just... Your quarterback and your tight end going out in space on this play. Two of hopefully your best players on the field. Michael Mayer is definitely the best player on Notre Dame. He kind of made that guy miss, but not really. And then check this out. This is that same play design. Michael Mayer right here. This time, instead of a pass, it's just a QB keeper. You can see that man is already focused on the running back. So he's not even needing to get in his way at all. He blocks this man all the way down the field gives him so much space you can see if he didn't block him way out here then this defender would have tackled him he wouldn't have had this hole so this is good play design because michael mayer can block that man for his qb to keep that ball and he can also catch it in open space and then uh whoop almost making me miss right there whoop michael mayer is such a good inline blocker as a tight end you can see him right here again he's just getting that double team on this defensive lineman and then working his way upfield to this linebacker you watch how he how far he pushes this defensive lineman inside and he even gets himself off balance because he wasn't expecting him to go that far in field and he even misses his assignment almost because he pushed that man so far away from the play and ends up working out anyways. And this is a big run for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Crack back block again. Here we go. Michael Mayer right here. You're going to see it from a different angle on number five. Just coming right over here. And boom. Lean your shoulder into him. You get that foot anchored. Creates this big hole. Only one who's going to tackle him is this ref. And he's getting the heck out of the way. That's right. Check out how low Michael Mayer gets on number seven right here. Way under his pads. And he's just going to bully him. Just push him to the ground. And then get in his face afterwards. Come on. You don't have to do him like that. The quickness of Michael Mayer and his ability to just be so twitchy in his route running. It just shows up on film. You can see that outside foot cut right there. Going to the inside. Good handwork again. He's so good with his hands. Swiping it away. You can see right up the seam right here. This defender is out of position. He's focused too much on this running back going up the field on this halfback little angle route towards the middle. This ball needs to be out right now. Because this is going to be a touchdown. Instead, he's holding it. He's holding it. He's still freaking holding it. And then he throws it. And because of that, it's a tough catch. 
Let me get it from this angle so you can really see. Look at this ball. Michael Mayer, ah, it's just out of reach. You can see right there. It's like fingertips just barely. Ah, that ball needs to be out quicker. That would have been a touchdown for Michael Mayer. Okay, this play is really interesting. I think this was the same kind of play as that uh, QB RPO with the tight end going out. You can see Michael Mayer is going to do this little whip motion, cut it back, and then this man just completely gets all up in his face. You see the quarterback is looking as if he's trying to release this ball, and he realizes that Michael Mayer has just got this guy all over him. So Michael's like, all right, I'm just going to block this guy down the field, and this is going to be a QB keeper. That's not what it was designed to be, but that's what we can run out of it. And so he gets a first down on this play. Smart heads-up play by both the quarterback and Michael Mayer, improvising a little bit on this play right about here, and then deciding let's just run this ball, get as much yardage as we can out of it, and just improvise. Michael Mayer right here lined up in the backfield. This is a classic case of these two guys. Who's got the running back? Who's got the tight end? Cornerback says, I got the running back. And the linebacker saying, oh my gosh, wait a minute. Okay, I guess I have the tight end. And now he is wide open because he was flat footed thinking he had the running back. Touchdown for Michael Mayer. Finally getting that touchdown in this game against Clemson. He was smoking these guys the entire game. So that's the film on Michael Mayer versus Clemson. It was one of his best games of the season graded by PFF. He is also the eighth best run blocking tight end and the second best receiving tight end graded by PFF this past season. So this is an NFL ready guy. He's got those ties with Notre Dame and Tom Telesco. I would be happy with both Michael Mayer or Dalton Kincaid as a Chargers fan if they draft him in the first round. But as Chargers fans, let me know who would you prefer? I know a lot of you guys are looking at some other tight ends like the guy from Georgia, Darnell Washington, because you really want a guy who can block. Michael Mayer can block too. Let me know what you guys think. Who's your favorite draft prospect thus far? Maybe I'll do a video on him. Thank you guys so much for watching until the end of this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. And I will see you guys next time.